All right, hey, what's going on YouTube? We are back for part number two of the trailer build. Uh, today we're gonna be doing, we're working on some electrical. We got the welding all buttoned up. We're gonna show you what we do for the electrical, where we're putting the lights. I don't know if it's right or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna send it and it's gonna be a job well done. Follow along here with us. First thing we did, we we're gonna mark out. We're gonna we're gonna put four or actually uh, five ambers on each side. Every time you see a piece of blue tape here, amber. So there's gonna be one amber there, one amber there, one amber there, one amber there, and one amber there. Thing's gonna be light up like a Christmas tree, <laughs> but uh, it'll be good. And uh, we're gonna run uh, some steel tubing, like conduit, in between the light just to protect the trailer wire. So hopefully we have like some longevity out of it. Here we go, we cut these all to size right here. This is gonna be our steel conduit. You're gonna be able to see this thing from space. All right, we're back in it. Look, the sun is up for once. <laughs> it rained this morning cooled the valley off to about 102 degrees today so I just want to give you guys a quick update here to check it out we got our conduit in there for we just tack those in for our electrical <sighs> both sides we put splits in the conduit like between here and here because we're gonna have an amber right here for a running light I'll be able to tie it in we started painting the front of the trailer and uh, right now what we're doing since we got a little sunlight it's a little better to see is we're welding in our D rings for like our tie down points for whatever we're towing all right, and since I've been gone, we got the uh, thing all rattle canned. Nothing fancy here. We got some Rust-Oleum, some high flow nozzles, and we let it rip tater chip. She's looking good. This trailer's actually brand new from the factory. I just went and bought a new one, swapped it out. So trailer wiring is always color coordinated. Uh, we're doing a seven pin here. We don't have lime green for the reverse lights like we should, but we're going to use bright purple, and uh, reverse lights are going to be with that, and then. Our brown one is going to be our constant power for all our running lights. Going to be running all the way down the thing. And uh, let's continue it on here. We're using our green wire here and our yellow wire. These are going to be our blinker lights and our brake lights. We're using this long rod right here. Just jabbing it in the hole and uh, running all the way through. And you can see up here where we got your teed off right here. It's going to run through the center part of the trailer. Right up here, we're going to run into the plug. All right, we're back for another quick update here. <clears throat> We've got our ambers in and they just swing around and are grounded right to the mounting screw so they're mounted to the frame of the trailer for the ground we're going to tie in power soon we got some yellow reflective there and we got some reflective tape every other way got our big old d-rings hanging big ford ranger wheels hanging. looking fly <laughs> yeah big big d's hanging <laughs> we can have bob the builder over here just reflecting the job up these are going to be our reverse lights straight up freaking spotlights for a side by side hopefully we can see out back <clears throat> gonna be tutti frutti so we got the hazards flashing we got the reverse lights straight spotlight and we got a warrior dog over there my dad's old dog no, we got all our ambers lit up. Trailer into a Christmas tree 101. <laughs> so I'll teach you a few tricks here. One of the tricks I learned many years ago is uh, when somebody wants to help, you let them help. And right now we are staining the deck. We got 16 foot planks, 23 foot of deck on the trailer. And uh, so we're gonna use seven foot planks and we're gonna use 16 foot planks to equal it out. And uh, check it out. I got the wife and the kids working. <laughs> How's it going, Ronnie? It's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. It's about, it's about 105 out here or so. Humid today, which is odd for Arizona, but probably not as humid as it's going to be in Florida. All right, so got caught up again. It's been a, it's been a weird week, guys. I, I'm not going to go into it, but it's been a weird one. Um, we got this thing sealed pretty much, all stained. 
Uh, we use star headed screws that are counter sunk in to uh, bolt it down. We use a 732nd drill bit and we just put, we put two in the end boards and then just one screw going down on every cross beam until the end where we get two just to make sure we ain't getting no movement. And uh, yeah, so it's just about done. I uh, was gonna go into a little bit more detail and stuff, but uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles on this video. But uh, thanks for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button down there and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. B -b 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 bonus time. I know you guys wanted some more. So you know what? We're back here for a little bit of bonus clip. We made these ramps for this trailer right here. This is just angle we still had. We cut them five foot long, 3 16 thick. This is just some very thin angle that we had laying around. Actually, good old Bob over there had it laying around. We welded those in nicely. And then uh, we welded the sleeves up here. And then we got this rod and it's gonna go through. Welding these uh, little fins out here, ducktails, I call them. I don't know what you call them. And uh, oh, some bitch <laughs> going down. The clamp got me. Ah. All right, so you guys just witnessed me almost get taken out by that alligator clip <laughs> but uh we're moving to florida so i guess i should be getting ready for alligators i don't know <laughs> anyways what we did here is uh we got these ears hanging off we got holes drilled through a rod goes through just a cotter pin through them and then uh some holes in the angle that dangle and uh we just slatted it all together that way we got a uh, you know they fold up they fold down we put a little strap on the end and that's it all right, thanks again guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. We're trying to get those numbers. We're almost to 100, guys. You guys can help me out. I know it. I got faith in you. Um, but anyways, we'll catch you on the next one.